Guys have been very enthusiastic. Guys have been playing together. Guys have been playing hard. And we'll be fine. I've been around many years to know, you know, whether it's a good team or a terrible team. But you know, we have we have all the pieces, and it's just it's just up to uh, up to us to get it done. You know, offensively we, we have a lot of weapons, but you know, defensively we just have to uh, we just have to uh, come in with a certain attitude and you know take a stand on you know playing defense. And if we can, can combine those two things, especially late towards the season. We'll be right where we want to be. Is it good to get away to kind of come together at the same time, you know, come out here and see you guys? Tucson looks like Phoenix to me. <laughs> <laughs> Cactus everywhere. <laughs> no, but it's, you know, it's a very hospitable city. You know, we're down here with the college kids and, you know, we're joking around with the football team and the swimmers. So, but, you know, it's uh, very, very peaceful down here. What are you guys doing with the football team? Just, you know, in a weight room with them, hanging out with them, talking trash with them. Did you ever swim against that girl the other day? No, uh, she didn't meet me. You showed up? I showed up two two days in a row. She was scared. <laughs> she was scared. I talked to a golfer outside. He said he'd like to challenge you to a... Uh, what, whatever. <laughs> I, I can do it all. When you first scheduled, you're learning Mike D'Antoni's system and you have the offseason, and now Porter's in here with her. Is, is, is it help that you guys are played a long time, and it really, when it comes down to it, it's just basketball, and it's all said and done, no matter what the system is and what's going on? You know, I've, I've, I've played for a lot of teams, so I, you know, most, of the, most of the calls around the league are the same. So, you know, when you're out there playing, it's not really, you know, it's not really much thinking going on. It's supposed to be already trained in your muscle memory, but, you know, I, I just have to. Uh, just go over his plays a, a, a million times and then I'll get it. Just like yesterday in practice, he called a play that was also a Miami, <clears throat> a Miami play, but and it's just you know the uh, you know Miami and me kicked them, but we'll all get it. Do you embrace that mentor role with Robin so far? Yeah, I mean I, I mean I've always done that with every every young player that I've played against, and I've, I've made every player that I've played with better. So look forward to making them better because one day. It's all going to be his. Did you ever have a guy like that? I mean, you were the guy in Orlando when you came in. Was there no, a guy I never you? had a guy. No? I'm a self-made, dominant big man. <laughs> and, and Robin seems like a guy that's eager to learn. Isn't yeah, he, he's smart. He went to Stanford, so that probably means he has a high IQ. <laughs> but he, he's, uh, he's smart. You know, he's, he's strong. He never backs down and works hard. So uh, he's going to be fine. Which areas does he have the most room for growth? I mean, he's he's only what 18, 20, so you know he could uh, you know he can improve in, in all aspects of his game. You know he's you know he's pretty good around the basket. He does what he's supposed to do. He's been working on his little jumper, very active on defense. So he's all right. I mean, I already put him in the <clears throat> top top 12 big men. It's only it's only two or three great big men anyway, and the rest are just you know just do what they're supposed to do. But I put him in the uh, Haywood Workman. Haywood, what's his name? The guy that played for the Wizards. Haywood. Yeah, Brandon Haywood, big, big guy, uh, you know, just hard nose, you know, block shots, rebounds, scores around the best when he needs to. So he's he, he's in that category. But, you know, it's my, my job to get him to the upper echelon category. He'll be there fine. 
another guy under your, that you take under your wing, Amari, he's not here today. The coach said you might have to come back with goggles, a la Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Amari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to play with goggles once. It wasn't, it wasn't a good feeling, but you know, he got poked in the eye yesterday, so hopefully he'll be okay.